They take in animals. The staff at the Wildlife Rescue and Rehabilitation, Inc., have a lot of mouths to feed this spring. Right now, they have more than 100 baby possum that they're nurturing to health. Yeah, the night team's Patty Santos tells us that the nonprofit is hoping to spread awareness about which urban wildlife should and shouldn't be brought to them. I mean, all day long, we get a lot of stuff in. Sarah Davis and Danielle Moncado have had a busy spring, feeding a lot of hungry orphans. I think we have over 100 possums inside. And twice as many squirrels, not to mention the many other mammals and birds <laughs> that are brought in daily. We feed them more the smaller they are. And then as they get bigger, their feeds get reduced to smaller amounts a day. Um, the smallest amount of feeds we do is like twice a day. They're part of the troop of more than 50 staff with Wildlife Rescue and Rehabilitation Office in San Antonio and Candalia. We uh, focus specifically on the rescue and rehabilitation of native Texas wildlife. Urban wildlife like songbirds, foxes, and owls. He was also orphaned, um, and he also has something we call it like splay leg. Many times, they're victims of human encroachment. Sometimes if mama doesn't have the right nesting materials, living in the city, she can't make a proper nest, and so sometimes they struggle to form correctly. Executive Director James Martinez says inflation is impacting how much they do for these animals. This year, the nonprofit is working with a $4.6 million budget. From those funds, around $600,000 are spent on food. Through the hotline, they answered 17,000 calls. You find the animal, it's been two hours, uh, and the mother has not come back for the animal, then you call us and we'll walk you through the steps and what to do next. Martinez says only animals that are clearly hurt should be brought to them. I know, they're so cute for us. Every box here is a baby, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, so this is just today's um, intake. Money helps support their mission, but so does volunteering, because these wild babies are a handful. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News.